Welcome back to Dementia Q&A, where we answer your questions about dementia in about five minutes with as little medical jargon as possible. I'm Dr. Mark. I'm an internist and a geriatrician here in Louisville, Kentucky. Today's question, what are amyloid plaques? When families and patients begin to research dementia online, they immediately find out about the concept of beta amyloid plaques and the importance that they play in the development of dementia. They naturally have questions. What are these plaques? Do I have them in my brain already? Is there anything I can do to reduce them or stop them from growing? And if I have dementia or if a loved one has dementia, does it really matter? These are all excellent questions. Let's get started. I know I promised you very little medical jargon, but if we're going to talk about amyloid plaques, you need about 30 seconds of neuroanatomy. So let's try it. The brain is an organ just like any other in the body. It has specialized cells that are arranged in particular ways to carry out very specific functions. Just like the heart has muscle cells that are arranged just so that make sure the heart can beat 60 times a minute every single day for your entire life, the brain has specialized cells called neurons, about 80 billion of them in each person's brain, that perform very specific functions. They're oddly shaped. They have long tentacles that reach out and touch other neurons. And at the point where they touch, they signal to each other. In order to make that happen, there are literally thousands of proteins and molecules that have to be created, transported down the tentacle, arranged just so. They do their signaling, and those molecules and proteins have to be degraded and broken down and eventually recycled. Nearly every genetic mutation that we have discovered that causes things like early onset Alzheimer's disease is a gene that makes proteins that are involved in some way with beta amyloid protein and its journey that I just described, being created, being paired with other proteins, being folded, being transported, being arranged, doing the signaling, being broken down. Somewhere along the line of beta amyloid protein's life, other genes play a role and they're often mutated in hereditary forms of dementia. So clearly, almost nobody thinks that beta amyloid does not play a big role in dementia. So what are the plaques? As beta amyloid goes along its journey, if things go wrong, we end up with sticky clumps or deposits, and eventually those grow into plaques of beta amyloid. As those clumps get bigger and bigger and bigger, because beta amyloid is very sticky and it sticks to itself, they start to disrupt all the other neurons in the area. Those neurons get unstable, they can't signal right, and they die. As more and more cells are dying, more and more beta amyloid is clumping together, spilling out inside the brain and causing larger and larger plaques. Those plaques we can see under the microscope, as we talked about in another video, it was those plaques that Dr. Alzheimer saw back in 1906 when he examined the brain of his first patient with the disease. Let's try to answer some of the questions that were asked. Do I have plaques in my brain today? Well, it's possible. About 30 to 35% of all humans have beta amyloid plaques when they die. But not nearly 30% of the population has dementia. So plaques themselves are not enough to cause dementia. There are other factors that must be involved. We also asked, is there anything I can do to slow these plaques down or even stop them? The answer today, unfortunately, is no. Many medications, pharmaceutics, have been tried. They look good in the lab, but when we've taken those medicines and given them to animals and humans, they've not slowed down memory loss. Lastly, we asked, if I have dementia already, or my loved one has dementia, should I worry about plaques and focus on them? I personally think the answer is no. You are much better off spending time thinking about staying fit, 
staying healthy and active, making sure you're surrounded by people and connections so that you don't end up lonely and isolated. And there are other medications that have been shown to help with memory loss. Better to pursue those, even though they don't target the plaques directly. I personally don't think focusing on plaques is a good use of your valuable time and your valuable energy. I hope that understanding a little bit about how beta amyloid and plaques play a role in dementia is useful for you. Thank you again for sharing and liking and subscribing to the channel if you don't mind. I look forward to seeing you next time here on Dementia Q and A.